Welcome to Total Corruption Gaming with your host Eric Talon87 to Star Citizens, a new citizen. Let's get started. And we will get the power on. Welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. Okay, turn our engines Engine on. Systems enabled. And we will take off the station. Pull our landing gear up. Now, this is Strut Delta. That's where we came from. And if you look over here, that is Strut Charlie. This one is Strut Alpha. And that one is Strut Bravo. So now you see how the four pads are situated one toward another. So remember this when you're spawning, take note of what strut you are on. It's one of the most common uh, bewilderments that new players feel when they're attempting to meet up with other friends. Welcome to the great wide universe of Star Citizen. At this point, you can go anywhere you want. Uh, we're going to just keep this really simple and head out to Hurston. The assumption in this, at this point, is that you desire to make money. Alright, this is a good thing to check. Currently, we have just barely enough fuel to get there. So, that's a good thing to know. We're gonna. There it is. Turn it off. Alright. So, we're gonna set course to Hurston. This is not about it. This is not going to be about navigating. This is just getting to travel. Engage. Okay, completing our uh, FPS mining outfit. Okay. We shut up at Hurston and we're gonna land at Lorville for the final piece of our quantum travel equipment. Engage. Hurston, uh, land at Lorville on Hurston. Take the elevator here, call the elevator. Go up to Tisa Spaceport. All the signs for the Hurston Mass Transit. Go through the customs area. Okay. 
this is an easy way place to get confused. Uh, follow signs for the Metro Center. For now, don't go, don't bother with the green. Go down to the blue one. Get on the train. Follow the exit signs. Now we're gonna start following signs to to many and sons. Okay, we're right here. We came out of the metro station, and we're going to go to to many and sons right here. So we're going to. We're look here, we're facing this sign. We're gonna turn, we're gonna go down, we're gonna turn left, go down this hallway, go straight. No problem. Okay, so we're gonna turn left, and we're gonna go down this hallway. Finally ready to take the plunge on a used ship? Swing by the New Deal shipyard for exciting deals on all your favorite brands. Square. Or left left in square is where we're heading. Okay, once again, follow signs for too many incense. <laughs> follow signs for too many incense. Okay. Now, our final piece of equipment will be found under weapons. And it is the pyro tool. So, we're going to need the pyro tool for FPS mining. So you will need to purchase at least one of these. It's recommended you get more than one in case you have a bug on your FPS mining mission and you happen to lose it. So then you don't have to like come back and purchase it and cut your mining expedition short. But player's preference, purchase at least one of these. Then go under attachments. And you will need the mining, the orbit mining attachment as well for each of these tools. So if you purchase more than one of the tools, you'll have to purchase more than one mining bit. So assuming the purchase of one tool and one mining bit, at this point, a new player should have 2,800 credits and some change, along with the ability to earn more credits for themselves by venturing out on their first FPS mining expedition. What is FPS mining? Well, we will find about, out about that in our next episode. This has been Star Citizens, a new citizen on Total Corruption Gaming with your host, Eric Talon 87 Thanks for joining us.